Hi everybody, Creative Katie here, Karen Birchall. Welcome to my channel. Right now you are getting a sneak peek at a brand new organizational system to my studio. I'm going to share all about this great Dollar Tree find. I'm also going to talk about making the most of vertical storage and organization in our studios. And if you're space challenged like I am, you're going to find that really interesting. Just a word about the products that I'm using. If they're not from Dollar Tree or if I can find them on Amazon, I will put a link so you can get a good look at these different systems and ideas. And just so you know, if you are from Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, or the UK, if you link on my US links, they will take you to your Amazon store and you can still support my channel and I will still earn the, a small commission. So thank you for shopping through my links and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everybody, welcome to my studio. This last month has been crazy busy. I've been trying to get out the videos as well as put a few videos in the bank for so I can take a short holiday and you won't even know that I'm gone. What that means is that I'm doing a lot of making and not a lot of putting away and not a lot of cleaning, which means things stack up, pile up, and well, the studio became a bit of a disaster area. So much so that I had to take some time and say, okay, I need to clean, sort, organize, put everything back in its place. And while I did that, I did some thinking about the organization systems that I had. And I was asking myself, hmm, is there a better way? Is there a way I can improve the functionality, the usability of the space that I have? Now I'm lucky, my space is a dedicated art room, studio room. There's a door, I can close it, but it's not exactly large. By the time you have the two tables and the big kind of out of the way storage cabinet, there isn't a lot of floor space left. So I need to maximize the space that I have, and that means using vertical space. So I'm going to address using vertical space in your studio. And that might be the answer for some of you too. What I also want to do is clear off my desktop so I have workspace and things aren't sitting on my two tabletops. Again, using vertical space. So I went to Dollar Tree in search of my organizational answers. And I'm happy to report I found two great organizational hacks for the studio that's going to increase your storage space, your usability, takes advantage of vertical space, and may even use things that you already have. So here's the number one find. And please watch to the end of the video before you head out to Dollar Tree. They are the over the cabinet towel bars. Now these aren't new to me, I have them in my kitchen. What's new is these are expandable. They go from nine inches to about 15 inches. Now, not only are they expandable, is you can pull them apart. It takes a little doing, but especially the first time. And then you can use it with another Dollar Tree basket. Now you can use a multitude of sizes of these and I'm going to go through all the ones that I have and show you how they work. And depending on where you're using them, there will be a right size for you. I'm going to share with you what I use and how I'm going to use them and then you can piggyback off that. So what you do is simply you need the holes on them and I will never buy a basket that doesn't have that. And you simply put it together back in there and then you can hang this. 
You can hang it in a variety of places and I'm going to show you some of the options. So one of the places that I'm going to use it is with these floating shelves. Now these floating shelves are great for maximizing vertical space in your studio. They are perfect for displaying your art journals or canvases or art without putting holes on the wall. I have this constant turnaround of art and now I don't have to put nails in the wall. I can simply just swap it out. But I love it for putting my various art journals on and I can display it, change the pages. But I have, it has these lips. Now this one comes from Ikea, but they do have them on Amazon and I will link it up. This one is 45 inches and they do, they start 16 inches, 24, 36, and I think there was a 47 inch one as well in Amazon. So you can size it to your wall. So we have this already. What we're doing is just taking the towel bars with the baskets and hanging it on here. And then you can store whatever you want in there. Now there is some movability here so you're going to have to depending on the size of the basket and the weight of what you're putting in there you may have to tweak it and adjust it. Right now I have some mark making tools in here. It's not something I grab all the time but I can just take this right off here, put it on my desk, and when I'm done, it can all go back there. Now, on here, they have some foam to prevent it from scratching, but there's none on the actual hook. So what I'm going to do, once I decide which ones are going where, because I'm still in the process of figuring everything out, I'm going to take these self-adhesive protective pads that you would put on under furniture and glue them in here so that it's not going to scratch my shelf or wherever I'm applying it. You can also use fun foam if that's what you have. So that can go here. Now these baskets come from Dollar Tree and they match the decor. I kind of have teal um, as well. And I believe these still are there. So I love this organizational idea because I can use different baskets. I can put different things here at different times. And it's simply a matter of taking out the towel bars, attaching it, putting it back together, and swapping it out. So here I've got some of my substrates. I've got my 4x4 magnet, magnetic canvas, my door hangers, my 5x7 canvas boards. It's right here. I wasn't using my 5x7 canvas boards because it was stored away in a tote in a cupboard way over there and it was just too much of a problem. So now I can just reach up here and grab it out. So these bins also come from, from the Dollar Tree and they still have these and they come in, there's tan, there's black, there's a couple different shades of brown. They even had, for a short time, the teal ones, which I nabbed a few that I have in my studio. So we have these ones as well and there's that look. Now I'm tending to put things in here that are a little bit on the lighter side because there is this movability here. So you're going to have to play with that. But I'm going to show you the, the various looks that you can get. Now these are the smaller bins and these bins, actually uh, three of these fit in our IKEA carts which is where, why I have them. So 
so we can just put them like that here I've got different eph ephemera now some of these baskets fit my plastic folders which is another one of my top organization tips and I'll put a link to these these folders I use for my die cuts stamps stencils uh, my sentiment packs I have tons of these and I can use them so one size fits all I can use and use and use them so that can just go up there so some of the bins again if you are if you have these take them with you when you go to Dollar Tree and try it in the bins because it doesn't necessarily fit in all of them right so you want to make sure that they fit now before we go on I thought I have this tray again I bought it because it matches my decor and I thought you know that's too big so let's try it out before we move along to other places in my studio that I can use these towel bars initially I bought four and I went back and I bought another eight because I know I can use them not only in my studio I can use them in the kitchen I can use them in my pantry my linen closets the usability is way up there so let's see this expands this tray this one is 13 and a half inches and actually right now I've got paper in here so you could have your deli papers you could have your tissue papers and they're easily accessible so you can mix and match you can have it all the same you can mix and match have different ones so where else can you use these well, we talked about it already. The Raskog carts from Ikea. So these are the Ikea carts, the Raskog carts from Ikea. But you can also get them. They are in Canadian Tire. I've seen them in other home improvement stores. You can buy the ones at Michael's. They're not all created the same and the measurements are different. So as I said before, those same baskets these ones three of them fit in one of these carts what on one of these top, the top parts now here you can see I've got some you can put paper towels on here and have that which means you are getting it off of your tabletop win-win and now you can just pull it easily with one hand and do that or you can put one of these on each level so I've got three down there so you can mix and match pick the colors you like and there's three of them now right in here this is where my chair is because right here this is my tabletop this is my work table so there's not a lot of room here and this backs against the wall so I would not be putting on the other side but you could easily have another three on the other side of the cart and just think of how much extra storage space you have Now just a word about those carts. If you are lacking in space, you may want to look for carts that don't have three but have four levels or five. Use your vertical space to help yourself. So this one has all my color mediums in it. So again, you can just easily put this and I can change it up. I can move it from one to the other. 
Now, unfortunately, with the carts, using the larger baskets, you can put, use a larger basket on the top if you have the clearance. But I, I don't have the clearance, so I will just be using the smaller ones. And so those daisy ones work. These ones, I don't believe, these ones do not work here. So that's information for you in that. Let's try these ones. I really like these, but they were there for such a short time. Maybe they'll bring them back. So that fits here as well. And this one will fit my plastic folders. So I can add, if I get more sentiment packs for my different theme packs, I can simply put that in there and look at that. It actually fits all my sentiment packs in here, which means I can, these are my stencils, expand my stencils across the top. So if you have any cabinetry, it can also go across the top like that. You can have it on the way on facing outward or inward. If it's opening against the wall, you have some limitations like I do, but that is one other place. I also have a whiteboard and I can put a basket up there as well to store whatever I want. Remember, it's increased usability. So this could be substrates. And because this is solid behind it, this basket is a little bit more sturdy than when I had them over there. Here's another place you can put them. These file cabinets or standing file organizers, you can, now can I do it with one hand? Nope. <laughs> you can Put the basket there and it's off the tabletop which allows me to clean. This is my mylar that I use with my cutting machine that sits on top of my filing cabinet. But I can have something above here and it's not on the tabletop. So here's the second Dollar Tree find that I had. Now this is my old system. I had three bins from Dollar Tree and on one of them I had focal images, excess ones, collage papers was in the second one, and excess sentiments. And I sorted them out. So if I had extra while I was creating, I would just toss them in the bin and then when I was creating, I could just grab the bin with collage items, focal images, and maybe use it on a page. When the bin got full, I would sort it through, put it in a more permanent place. Now, this is sitting on my secondary desk. This is my office space where I edit my videos. This takes up 20 inches of space by 10. So it's about 20 inches by 10. And I thought, you know, I want to make use of vertical space. So, I went to Dollar Tree and I found this, these bins. I was looking for something that was stackable. Something about that size. I didn't want lids because I didn't think, I didn't want to fuss with it. I want to make it easy for me to take, oh, I cut out an extra focal image and just throw it in there and deal with it. So when I first was there and I was amongst all their bins, I'm like, oh, those aren't stackable. And then I turned it and I realized that it was stackable when you turn it and twist it. 
then because they only had them in white and a blue that I didn't like, I've just used my sticker paper and painted it teal to go with the color of my desk, with the color of my filing cabinet. And I just stamped out focal images, words, and collage items. So this sits on my desk. Now this only takes up 10 by 10, 10 by nine. So it sits in the corner, it's easily accessible. I can grab the focal images if I'm working, I can just grab them and go through what's here. Use what I need. And then stack it back up and it's off my desk. So I have more usable space. So for me, that's a definite win. So next up we have this mesh organizer and this again it can be mounted on the wall it came from Amazon so I will link to what I have or something close if I can find it on Amazon. So up here I put my art journal pages that I've taken off the coil the various sizes. My accidental art journal can file in here as well as some of my other DIY art journals. I've got my cards as well as my masking tape. This keeps it here. Like I said, this can be mounted on the wall if you wish, but it does also sit on the tabletop, which is a nice alternative and it's far away from my workspace. Got gel prints? need a place to store them that's easily accessible and makes use of vertical space, well then I can recommend, recommend the Pendaflex file organizer. That's it, hanging on the back of a door with a Dollar Tree over the door hanger. So there are six colored plastic envelopes that you can file stuff in. Now what I've done is I've put file folders in them and so you can put more than one in each. So for the green I have green and I will have my teals. For the orange it is orange and red. So when I want to grab the teal or the blue I can just grab the file folder and take it over to my workspace open it up. When I'm done, put the items, the gel prints that did not get used back in the file folder and it can come back here. And then it's easy peasy behind the door. But wait, there's more to it. So if you are operating out of a spare bedroom and then you want to pack up your stuff or you want to take it on a create date or when I'm teaching a class and I want my gel prints with me just take it off the door fold it up like this and it comes with a carrying case so all you need to do is set that in the case snap it closed and there you have it, nice and compact. Now there are other similar organizers on Amazon that I have found. Some have more pockets, so depending on the space that you have and the ideas that you have for using something like this, you may need something different than this one. So right here, sitting on my tabletop, I have repurposed a shoe organizer. I believe the brand is Mainstays and I got it from Walmart years ago and actually had used it as a shoe organizer. Wasn't using it for that anymore and I thought, oh, I can use it. So instead of three bins sitting on the tabletop, I can have three on the bottom, three in the middle, and three on the top. 
So you can see how I get a lot of supplies right in front of the area that I am creating on. So I have my archival ink, my mark makers, my pens, things that I grab pretty much for every single page are right in front of me. So you can see the baskets that you've seen before that now work with the over the cabinet towel bars are already in my studio. What I need to do is figure out exactly where I'm going to use them the best. So for now, I've placed some of the baskets using the over the cabinet towel bars in various places. I've put one on my whiteboard. This has tags, cards, ATCs in it. I don't use those often, so it's a little further removed from my space, but it's not behind closed doors. On this cart that has my acrylic paint that typically I pull out when I'm creating, I put my paper towel roll, roll on one bar, and my tougher blue towels from the home improvement store there. Behind on the other cart that holds my napkins in the, in the binders, down here I have all my metallic paints and my black and white. So they're right close to where my other paints are. In the past, I had them sitting in that file organizer. I've switched out some of the baskets on the shoe organizer and put the ones without the holes for the most part. These are my mark makers. They're easy to grab. My, my archival inks, my mediums, my brayers, everything that I typically had here before. So in the next weeks, as I create, I'm also going to see my three stackable bins with focal images, excess words, and collage papers. These are those little bits that you have left over after your projects. Now over here is the major change. I've decided to use the daisy cut baskets. I really like the look of them. And in them I have different substrates. I've got wooden substrates that I've purchased at Dollar Tree. I've got my mini canvases, my mini composition books, my coasters in here. In this bin I have my color swatches. When I use do the color, color challenge, I have my prompt cards and more of my color palettes, the book. I can't tell you the number of time, num the amount of time that I've spent looking for these items. Now they're right here. I may switch those out for the bigger brown baskets, but usability, as I use it, as I figure it out, I will change that. Now on the two Ikea carts, this one holds my stamps and this one is stencils and stamps and a few other odds and ends. So I've put four baskets on here. Now, when I back up, you can see where my chair is. As I use this system as it is, I will determine if I can have those there or if it's just going to interfere with my function in the in this studio. So time will tell. If those baskets can't go there, I have other uses for those baskets. Remember, most of these baskets I already had in my stash. Now this one, I've put my sentiments in the plastic, which has allowed me freed up space to have my ever-growing supply of stencils all together which I love. 
Down below, I have die cuts and odds and ends ephemera. I have other envelopes that I will be putting in there that have bits of book paper and music paper and, and collage papers and different things along those lines. Now over here, you can see one of those baskets is empty. I'm going to figure out what goes in here. But I'm thinking we could have project bins. If I want to, if I go through my stamps and say, I haven't used this stamp and I haven't used this stencil, or I have an idea, I can put the napkin, uh, a focal image, a magazine picture, put it in the bin, and it's kind of a project bin for an upcoming project. So I might just do that. I can also see myself using one of these bins as when I'm done with a stencil, when I'm done with a stamp, I can put it in there. It's not going to get lost. It's not going to fall in between something. And then from there, I can take it out and file it in the, in the appropriate uh, scrapbook pile or in the, in the appropriate plastic envelope. So once again, I will put links in the Amazon store to any of the products that are exactly or very similar to what I am using. Thank you so much for joining me.